reproduction of the swine reproduction, focusing on females. Okay, so just a basic overview is so gilts, they reach puberty between five and eight months. It varies. Uh, gestation is around 114 days. So the estrus cycle lasts 18 to 24 days. Um, it usually averages 21 days, but it does vary. And then estrus is 48 hours. Okay, so estrus, like we said, the cycle is 21 days. So ways to detect estrus. Um, sows, if they're in group housing, they will mount each other. Uh, their vulvas will become swollen, they'll become red. Uh, some of them have discharge. You can detect it better if you have a heat check bore that can run in and that he'll get them excited and you can look at them at that point. They'll grunt um, and if you put pressure on their back, usually when there's a bore around, they will become rigid, immobile, and kind of lock up like they're ready to be bred. Okay, breeding. So there's three main methods of breeding. There's pin mating, which is when you just basically throw a boar in a big, large group of sows and let him do his job. That's not used a lot in commercial hog breeding any anymore, um, just because you, you need a lot of boars to breed that many sows. So. Hand mating is when you take one boar and add one sow at a time and let him stay with her for about 48 hours and breed her then. Uh, but mainly the only one used now is artificial insemination, which is when you collect semen from a boar and you know manipulate it to breed many gilts or sows. So the AI program heat checking is super critical. You want to find those gilts in heat so you can AI them. Um, so the best to do is definitely at least twice a day. Once a day you're going to miss some of your gilts and you're going to have a lower percentage of bread, but it's whatever you're able to do. Um, so you want to inseminate sows 24 hours after the onset of standing heat and then again after uh, 18 to 34 hours later. Pregnancy. So sperm reaches the oviducts within 30 minutes of insemination. Fertilization can occur within two to six hours after insemination. Embryos enter the uterus around 48 to 60 hours after ovulation and obviously insemination. Um, embryos are at the greatest risk of dying in the first 30 days, so you want to be careful how you have those gilts and sows. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, this is wrong. 144 days, it should be 114 days. The mm -hmm. average gestation length, we already talked about that. It's 114 mm -hmm. days. That's a typo. Okay, this is a picture of a very pregnant sow. <laughs> that was wrong. Okay, pregnancy testing. A big commercial herds use pregnancy testing a lot. Um, but the most common way to determine pregnancy in a gilt or a saddle is just not returning to estrus after 21 days after breeding. So, but a lot of people will use ultrasound just to prepare if they need to get semen in um, to breed those sounds again. So there's different types of ultrasound. I'm not going to really go into them. Um, usually a farm will have one. They vary from about $200 to $2,000. So there's pulse, echo, Doppler, real time. And usually you can ultrasound, ultrasound them uh, as early as 18 days after breeding. Partrition. So, partrition begins with restlessness and nesting activity. Usually, they'll be in crates, spamming crates, so they'll be biting at the crate. Um, sometimes they try to pull, kind of nesting activity. Uh, mammary glands will become turgid, they'll become really rigid and warm, and then they'll start secreting milk when they get really close to having the babies. Uh, so it's initiated by increased cortisol levels. The release of relaxin and oxytocin follows that. And they are delivered in between 15 to 45 minute intervals. Usually sows will go faster than gilts, but it just does, it depends on the pig really. So. 